Team Keep It Clean. Uh, this is a message to all Ravens fans. I mean, really just football fans in general, um, but certainly to Ravens fans because that's what we see and interact with uh, really on probably a daily basis. Um, we are in draft season. The draft is only a couple days away. Um, and we've, of course, been evaluating different prospects and whatnot. Everybody got their take on this guy, that guy, and that guy, what the Ravens should do, who the Ravens should take, who the Ravens should stay away from. And even before them, um, even before it was draft season, different fans have differing opinions on the way that their favorite football team should operate, what they should do, what they shouldn't do, what they should keep doing, what they should stop doing, what they should change up, what they should stay the same. And you know how it goes. Everybody has their way of what they feel the Ravens could do to improve and whoever your favorite football team is it does, doesn't just have to be the Ravens um and that's fine that's fine uh but you have differing opinions obviously from different people a person a says oh they should do it like this person b says no 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 they should do it like this then you got person c no 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 both of those two are wrong they should actually do it like this and there's nothing wrong with disagreeing we talk about it on here like every day, man. Um, there's nothing wrong with disagreeing at all. There's nothing wrong with you feeling your way about how your team should do it or you, the, the other person feeling their way about how their team should do it. But I, I really hope this message like reaches the right person or just people in general um, to where you don't have to disrespect people just because you don't feel the same way about your favorite football team or favorite football player, favorite whatever. If you don't feel the same way that they do, it's not a cause for disrespect. It's not. In my opinion, I feel like that's when conversations, they, they can go left when people just, people are going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And nothing wrong with that. Y'all debating, y'all, or y'all just having a conversation. Y'all don't even got to be debating. Y'all just having a conversation. One person sharing their opinion on it. Oh, no, well, this is why I think, okay, no, well, actually, to counter that, this is why I think, okay, that's fine. You're going back and forth, and it doesn't have to get nasty. But for some people, they feel like if the person that they're talking to doesn't change their opinion and, and doesn't change their opinion to make it the same as theirs, then, oh, all right, well, I got to disrespect that person now. All right, I got to talk nasty to that person now. All right, I got to get disrespectful now. And it's like, for what? For what? If somebody has a different opinion on you, on something, that's okay. Leave it at that. You say your piece for however you feel. Let them say theirs. And if you, hey, if y'all don't like each other's opinion, okay. Agree to disagree. It's fine. And walk away. Leave it at that. But I just, I hate seeing when people just got to get like nasty with each other. I hate when, seeing when people just got to get just disrespectful with each other. And I hate the, 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 the snarky, slick side comments and stuff, all the subs and all that. And it's, it's just like whether it's sub tweeting or sneak dissing or whatever. It's like, for what? Why? What's the point? You ain't got to do all that. That, that accomplishes nothing. It accomplishes nothing. I, I, just, I just don't get it. And that's why I say I, I hope this message reaches the right people. Uh, and I'm not calling anybody out, but I'm just hoping that people can just execute uh, giving their opinion just a lot better. You can, again, you can share however you feel about something, but let's try to do it in a more loving and more respectful way. Let, let, let's try, at least try, at least try. Not asking for any guarantees, anything like that, because I know none, none of it is guaranteed, but let anybody who sees this video, let's at least try. I try to do better on my part. You could try to do better on your part. We can all try to do better because it would just make interactions with people so much better. And people can really gain so much um, just from a conversation not having a goal left because I've learned so much from all of y'all, whether it be questions from subs, whether it be on Twitter, whether it be a DM, whether it be a Facebook message, whether it be Instagram, whether it be whatever. And there will be times, it, it has happened so many times. I feel one way, somebody shares with me why they feel the opposite of that or a different way. 
And I'm like, well, no, I feel the reason I feel like this way is because X, Y, Z. And they actually like, well, the reason that I feel that way is because A, B and C. And then I'm like, oh, wow. I was only thinking about X, Y and Z. I didn't even think about A, B and C. Wow. Sometimes it changes my thinking. Sometimes it doesn't. But I always appreciate different people's point of view and different people's perspectives uh, when it comes to different matters, whether it be about the Ravens, or whether it be about really whatever. So I would just hope that everybody can at least at least try to do something similar to that, because to, you're not going to agree. You, you're not going. It's not going to happen. You're not going to agree with everybody, but at least try to have respect for the next person. Uh, talk to them as a human being. You ain't got to talk down to nobody. You ain't got to do all that. Then another thing too. You, you don't have to gatekeep. Nobody has to gatekeep. No matter what side of the fence you're on, you don't have to gatekeep. Let people let people fan how they want to fan. Let people root for whoever they want to root for, whether team, player, strategy, front office, whatever. Let them do it how they want to do it. You do it how you want to do it. And nobody got to call anybody a fake this or fake that. And What's the point? What, what does that accomplish? Seriously, what does that accomplish for you, for them, for anybody? If somebody says, oh, man, that person, oh, they, they a fake fan. They not a real fan. Da, 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 da. They a fake fan because of X, Y, and Z. Tell me what that gets done. What, what do you remove them out of your, uh, your encyclopedia of fans? You, you scratch their name out? What does that do? They're still going to be a fan of whatever team they are. You're still going to be a fan. What does that accomplish? It accomplishes nothing. Nothing. People could, they could root for whatever team they want to root for, however they want to root for them. If they are somebody that's objective, that's critical, that's fine. If they are somebody that supports everything that whatever they said team does, that's fine. I feel like too many people are worried about the next person too much when it has nothing to do with them. It has absolutely nothing to do with them. It does not change your nine to five. It does not change your family. It doesn't change your life. Nothing about the way that that person roots for their team has anything to do with you. It should not have any impact on your life. It should not change anything. Nothing at all. And I, I just don't get how so many people get so, so caught up in trying to hold up the championship title belt for being the best fan in the world. You don't have to. It, it, it doesn't do it. You do how you want to and let other people do how they want to. Being critical of how somebody is a fan, it don't do nothing. It, 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 don't, it don't do nothing. It's not going to get you an award. It's not going to get you a, a top comment award or a special fan badge on Facebook or anything like that. It's, it's not going to get you anything. So you don't have to do that. You really don't. Um, and it's just like, cause again, it, it doesn't add anything of significance, of value to anything, not to any conversations, not to any interactions, not, it doesn't add anything to anything, but negativity, that's it. That's it. So all the, the, the policing, oh man, you're not a real fan if you do that. Oh, you're a fake fan if you do that. Oh man, you, how long you been watching this team for? Oh, you must be new here. Oh, you a bandwagon? Oh, oh, oh. and it's like, what, what is that doing? That's, and that's one of the things that I, I get so tired of seeing that. Oh man, you must not have been watching this team for very long if you think like that. Come on now, man. Oh, you must be new here if you're thinking like that. It's like just people can think what they want to think. It is okay. I don't understand why people get so offended that people think differently. That it's, It is okay. It is okay. It is no reason to ever get personal with people. It's no reason to ever get disrespectful with people. Never, 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 never. 
because you you can share the way that you feel. Even like I've even shared plenty of times why I feel like there's a lot of Ravens fans that think the way that they do is especially when it comes to defense. But I ain't, I ain't like, oh man, Ravens fans who just they want to be all about defense. They they want to do everything for defense, but nothing for offense. Oh, all of them are stupid. They're dumb. No, man, we ain't on that. We not on that. But whenever I talk about that, I explain how Ravens fans. It's the way that the Ravens operate and have operated for forever has led a lot of Ravens fans to think the way that they think. And I told y'all too, like it, it impacted me too. It impacted my thinking, like the way that, uh, like what I told you when I'm playing Madden, like oh boy, y'all y'all oof, I am I'm worse. I'm, I'm I'm so bad in Madden. It's the exact opposite of what I want the Ravens to do in real life. Because in Madden, I'll draft the receiver in the first round. I draft these receivers, these playmakers all in the first round. But then when it's time to pay them, I say, ooh, uh, then I end up trading them because I don't be feeling like paying nobody. But at the same time, I really don't be having that much money in salary cap. But anyway, I'll be clearing cap penalties and cheating and all that. But but anyway, um, it, it, it's okay. I just, the, the point of this video, I just really want people to, to, to share however they feel. I want them to at least try. Um, I, I, wish, I wish people would just express themselves with more respect. On here, on the channel, like about 99% of people do that. 99%, like there's a, there's a 1% where it's like, <laughs> it's, a, it's a defective 1% of team keep it clean. <laughs> but they, like, I guess it's people that's, that's new, that, that not used to the channel or whatever. So some people could take a little left. But 99% with team keep it clean, they share it respectfully. 99%. Um, that 1% got to watch out for them, but... I um I don't know man. I just I just really want to just try people to try. I I, I really do. I, I wish that they really would because if people just tried that, if they just tried, it would make such a big I guarantee you. If anybody everybody watching this, any of your interactions with people, whether it's about football or whatever, if you just try to do it with love. It, or do it with respect. If you just try, I guarantee you it'll make everything so much better. For me, um, I said in a previous video, uh, I um, I have to do a better job of just not even engaging with people who I can tell have this sort of negative mindset. Not a disagreeing mindset, but a negative mindset. Um, I, I've seen people, especially over this, these, this past couple of weeks where people will display sort of this pattern of a, a, a negative attitude, uh, sort of a, a condescending attitude towards me. And then initially I, I let it slide. I won't really say much. I'll say something, but I won't really say much. I won't really get into it too much. Uh, but then if they keep doing it, then I'm like, all right, nope, not doing it. Blocked. Blocked. Because I'm not going to uh, subject myself to that. I don't have to take that. I don't, I don't have to take that. Like, for what? And I, I just, it's not good for anybody. Because, And I've seen it a lot of times, too. Not just with me. I've seen it with other people, too. People will be nasty to a person. They'll be disrespectful to a person. They'll be rude to a person. They will just be outright disgusting to a person. Then when that person blocks them or that person just removes them, they be like, hey, what, but what happened? What, why'd you do that for? What, what was that about? Then they try to play victim. No, that, that shouldn't fly with anybody. So, again, like I said, I got to do a better job of it, of just not even engaging with that and just removing it, getting rid of it, getting it out. Nope, don't want to see it, don't want to hear it. Don't want to deal with it and don't have to deal with it. So for y'all, don't feel bad. Again, one of the best things about social media, block the block button. That is one of the best things, social media. Block and move on. Block and move on. You see somebody is a repeat offender. They, they keep doing the same thing. They're trying to sort of poke you. Like, hey, hey, okay, let me mess with him. Block and move on. People know what they're doing. People are very smart. Um, block and move on. And don't feel bad. 
Never feel bad for blocking and moving on. Ever. Do not ever feel bad for maintaining your peace. Do not feel bad for just keeping your vibe positive, man. Don't let nobody kill your vibe. Don't feel bad for removing somebody that you see is trying to kill your vibe. Don't ever feel bad for that. Oh, you better not. Don't. Because you don't need to. You, you don't need to. Because it's not, it's not worth it. Why would you put up with somebody who's super negative towards you or super nasty towards you? What would you put up with that for? That would make you crazy. Um, a lot of times I get confused because uh, I, I will have people come on here because it's like it, sometimes it seems like people, they like to torture themselves because that's what I get out of, out of some comments that I see. I'll see some people come through on the, on the channel. I use myself as an example. Some people come through on, on this channel. They be like, man, your videos, your videos are the worst. Oh, man, you suck. Oh, man, you're terrible. Oh, man, you're like the worst YouTuber ever. Oh, man, your, um, your, your, your takes, they suck. Oh, man, you, you're stupid. Oh, man, what you're saying, it doesn't make any sense. Oh, man, every time you make a video, it's stupid. Oh, man. And it's like, <laughs> it's like if that's the way that you feel, why do you keep coming back? Think like ser think about that. If that's the way that somebody feels about you, if somebody feels like you're stupid, you're dumb, what you say doesn't make any sense, you're, you're, you're whatever. Why would they keep being around you? Why would they keep being just staying with you? That is very toxic. And that's like that's like punishing yourself. It doesn't make any sense. What? If there's something that, like, if, if it's, like, a, like if I'm watching a show, if I'm watching a show, I'm like, man, this show is so stupid. This, this show is dumb. It doesn't make any sense. I don't like it. I, and and the, the only time I talk about the show, I'm complaining. Why would I keep watching that show? I'm not going to watch it anymore. I'm not going to set youtube tv to record it anymore I, i'm not gonna i'm not gonna watch it on netflix I'm, I'm not gonna watch the show anymore because i don't like it i'm not gonna sit up there oh here come that stupid show all that stupid show is on now you know what let me watch it just so i can complain you see how much sense that makes zero actually negative three because it makes less than zero sense so i just don't understand why people if they if you don't like something, leave it alone. Don't deal with it. Don't mess with it. And that's on both ends. If you don't like the way that somebody is speaking to you, the way they interact with you, block and move on. If you don't like like in my example, if you don't like somebody's content, if you don't like their videos, if you don't like their whatever, don't watch. Save yourself. The negativity, save the other person, the negativity as well. Remove yourself from the situation. Because it's one thing. If it's constructive criticism, like, hey, I appreciate your videos. I think that um, they could be even better if you did something like this. So, oh, man, this is just a little idea that I had. I, th I think it would be really good if you did something like that. Da -da -da. Okay, cool. Do it respectfully. But if somebody come on, hey, man, man, your videos suck. Oh, man. <laughs> Like the one, oh, your videos, they way too long. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Every, I always say everything's not for everybody. I will never, I promise you, I will never be offended if you don't like my videos and you unsubscribe and you stop watching. I won't be offended from anybody that does that because I don't want you to be watching something that you don't like. Why would you subject yourself to that? Don't do that. I'm encouraged if you don't like the, and it's not just for me, it's for anybody that you watch, whether videos, TV shows, whatever. If you don't like it, don't watch it. If you're just gonna complain about it, don't watch it. Cause that's just you driving yourself crazy. So anyway, um, this was just my hopes in just really trying to uh, remove a lot of the negativity from uh, not just Ravens fans, but just people as a whole. It can be hard, I know. We all have bad days. We all have times when we get a little frustrated, sometimes more than others. 
um it that's part of life but i just really hope that um people just we can at least try we can at least try uh to do better team keep it clean i love y'all i appreciate y'all let's all just give it a shot we out